You know, I was thinking about this the other day. I've got three different Platinum cards. Three. Who has three different Platinum cards? Who would pay those annual fees? It's kind of ridiculous when I say it out loud. And to add a fourth would just be silly at this point. So there's no way I'm getting a fourth. Give me just a second. I've got an email coming through here from Amex. Limited time offer for Brandon. You could earn 150,000 points to add another business Platinum card? It's time for a fourth. Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you find this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. And if you are a fan of receiving the latest information on credit cards, points and miles, finance money, and everything in between, then ask the subscribe button and the notification bell to come down to the local pool hall with you to win your money back after losing it all to a local pool hustler. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, great episode. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And in this episode, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do an unboxing of the American Express Business Platinum Card. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Brandon, didn't you do an unboxing of the Amex Business Platinum Card earlier this year? You're damn right I did! Now, if you've watched this channel before, you know I've referenced American Express's lifetime language rule, meaning that you can't receive a welcome offer on a card that you've already opened before. So when you try to apply, you may get something that reads like this. Welcome offer not available to applicants who have or have had this card. Meaning if you've had it before and you've got that really sweet welcome offer, you ain't getting it again. So you may be asking, Brandon, if you've already got an American Express Business Platinum card, which I still have open, then how in the world are you gonna get a welcome offer on a second Amex Business Platinum card? Well, I'm gonna talk all about that in the second half of the video, but first, we have to unbox the thing and see what all comes in the package. I've applied for it, I've gotten approved, and I think my delivery is on the way, so let's get to the unboxing. All right, so my new Business Platinum card should be coming any time now. I mean, they usually send them within a day. It's really, really fast, so I'm... Oh, jeez. I always get nervous when I hear knocks. I don't know, should I answer? I don't know what to do here. Maybe I just put my hand out. Let's see what happens. I think it's gonna be an envelope, probably gonna be... Thank goodness, I always get so nervous when I close my eyes like that, but I always end up with a really nice envelope, and this one is gigantic. There's something good inside here, maybe a business platinum card. I think we just ripped this sucker open. All right, so I've got my envelope here. This says extremely urgent on this UPS envelope, and you know what? This thing looks like it's been beaten all to crap, too. It's crazy. I hope that the card isn't bent up or dinged up or whatever, because uh, it looks a little rough right off the start. Let's rip the envelope open. Right back to you. Here we go. And you know what? I was expecting this, and I absolutely love it. So American Express sends these really fancy boxes. You know, these boxes are very sturdy. They're thick. It has a good feel in your hand. That's what she said. <laughs> and also, it's got this platinum color to it as well. So it's got a very premium feel to it. And you know what else I love are these little, uh, little rivets. Whenever you're tearing this open, it kind of gives a little pullback on you whenever you try to... You feel that? Can you hear that? I don't even know if it comes through on the microphone or not, but uh, I'm kind of butchering this one a little bit, but I love the pop and the last pop. There we go. Now let's open this baby up and see what we have inside here. Oh, baby. So when I open the box here, it says, welcome to Business Platinum. Unlock premium benefits for your work and life. I would love to do that. So when I take the card out here, it has a sticker on it to confirm the card. Breaking down the overall feel of the card, it's everything that you would expect from a platinum card or a premium card, especially one carrying this high of an annual fee. It's shiny. It's glossy. The appearance has not changed since I got my first business platinum card earlier this year. It's got a lot of weight to it, far more than some of the other American Express cards like the green card or the blue business plus card. And it's also pretty thick as well. So if you do want to put this in your wallet as a daily everyday carry card, then you're going to have to make room for it. It is substantial, but it carries substantial benefits as well. So that makes sense. Now there is this ribbon here in the box that I can use to lift up, but there's always this really exciting stuff in the top part that I want to make sure I don't miss. And that's called sarcasm. But I want to show you what this is because if you're new to points and miles and you're wondering, hey, what's going on inside the box of an Amex Business Platinum card? I'll tell you straight off the bat. So this is going to be your card member agreement. 
Always make sure you read this, especially if you're new to points and miles. That's going to be really important. We also have Do More with Pay Over Time, American Express Business. And I may do an entire video on Pay Over Time at some point, just for those that are new to it. Card Member Agreement Part 2 of 2. Jeez Louise, they cram a lot of stuff in this box. American Express Business Card Privacy Notice. Privacy. Is anything private these days? Summary of additional benefits, travel-related benefits. This is going to be really important. This is probably something if you're new to all this stuff that you want to keep in your nightstand just so you can read it before bed. And let's see here, the Business Platinum Card Membership Guide. I'll make sure that I read through all of this small print. God, I need glasses. I'm getting old. I'm too old for this shit. And then when you lift up on this ribbon here in the front, you pull that up, you've got access to all these really cool brochures. And unboxing a platinum card is an experience. Take time to review all this, okay? This doesn't come with every card. A lot of cards just come in your standard envelopes. Certainly not big boxes like that. So let's see what's in here. Unlock your potential. Well, it's like Tony Robbins here. Unlock your potential. Everybody, do your best. Try harder. It says start here, confirm receipt of your card, set up your online account, and download the Amex app. Which, by the way, I think the American Express app is fantastic. It's very easy to use. Get the most out of your card. We're going to talk about some of the benefits here as we go forward in the video, but we're not going to run through that right now. We've got a card here that says earn 1.5 times points on each purchase of $5,000 or more. You know what? I may try to put some of my swimming pool project on this and try to make several different transactions that are $5,000. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. We'll talk about some of the other benefits again in just a second. Work travel just got better. Well, I hope so, because work travel sucks most of the time. And it also talks about the 35% airline bonus, which we are going to go into detail on. Trust me. Going through here with the Global Lounge Collection, comfort goes everywhere you do. Their lounges are pretty sweet. No matter where business takes you, enjoy the stay with fine hotels and resorts. Sure thing. God, there's so much stuff in here. No wonder the box was so heavy. Travel more. Worry less with a $200 airline fee credit. Sure thing. I will definitely be taking advantage of that as well. I am probably scratching up every wall in the house. I've thrown about 15 of these cards against the wall. Upgrade your tech. Uplift your business through Dell. Okay, $200 statement credits for Dell. Yeah, we use those too. So we're going to go through all that in just a second. But I always enjoy the unboxing part, seeing what comes in the box. If you like these unboxings, let me know down in the comments. But it's time to get into the how and why I was able to get the American Express Business Platinum Card and how it fits into my overall strategy. So with that said, let's get moving. So I already referenced the lifetime language rule from American Express, which again says that if you've had a card before and you've gotten a welcome offer on it, you ain't getting it again. Long story short, I don't think they put ain't getting it again in the actual language, but that's how I interpreted it. So what happens if you do try to bypass that and just try to push it through and see what happens? You'll actually get a pop-up when you're applying for the card, which is really nice for Amex to do this, telling you that you won't be eligible for the new welcome offer because you already have or have had that particular card. There's also this general belief that Amex somehow forgets that you've had this card once you've canceled it, and after seven years, you may be eligible for another welcome offer on the card. That could happen, you could be eligible, but seven years is a long time to wait, don't you think? And yeah, I really do think. I opened my first ever Amex Business Platinum card earlier this year, and the video for that unboxing and the full review of that card will be down in the description below. So for me personally, this card wasn't even on my radar because I didn't think I would receive another welcome offer on this card in my lifetime or the next lifetime. Maybe the next one, I don't know. Now with all that said, this summer I did receive an email from American Express to add another Business Platinum card to my wallet with a welcome offer of 150,000 membership rewards. So I get really excited, right? I think, well, can I even get that? I've already got one of these cards. How am I gonna get this 150,000 point offer? Now I'm gonna pull up the email here real quick. Now the email itself, does have the lifetime language in it. It says, welcome offer not available to applicants who have or have had this card. And that falls in line with the lifetime language that I just talked about earlier. However, once you click through the email to apply, the application page does not have the lifetime language, which is really interesting. So it shows up on the front end, but when you actually go into apply, it completely disappears. So this means that I could apply for the card and get a second Amex Business Platinum card, collect the really awesome sign-up offer of 150,000 membership rewards, and I've still got my Business Platinum card open. Heck, I just opened it a few months ago. There's really very little risk in trying this. You know, when you get this email and you think, well, there's lifetime language in this, how am I gonna apply for it? Is this gonna be a waste of an application? There's no risk 
Express because American Express will let you know on the front end with a pop-up that will say that you're not eligible for the welcome offer. So with that said, I applied for the card, got through, no pop-ups, no problems, and I got the card within two days. But why in the world did I decide to add this card to my card portfolio? That may be a question you're asking. And I'll tell you straight up, there's several reasons that I really wanted to add this second card. First and foremost is the 150,000 membership rewards. That's a lot of membership rewards, okay? The annual fee on this card is $595. I get that, it's a lot of money. However, I can easily justify a lot of it with the membership rewards alone. Now, I do have to spend $15,000 in three months, which should not be a problem because I've got a very big pool project coming up. And then I've also got my Amazon business that I'll be starting and talking about on this channel that should be launching very, very soon. And trust me, the costs add up on those things. So between those two different things going on at the same time, the $15,000 spend should not be a problem at all. Another reason I really like this offer is because let's face it, membership rewards are very, very important when you've got a family of four like I do, and we travel a lot. We probably travel more than most families, but we like to get out there on the road or on the plane or wherever and just go. 150,000 membership rewards goes a long way when you're trying to get flights for four people to wherever you're going. And that ties into another reason that this card is really important to me, and that is the 35% airline bonus. Essentially, if you book flights through the Amex travel portal with your points, then you will receive 35% of those points back from your selected airline that you choose. And that 35% points back is up to 500,000 points back within a calendar year. And this bonus applies to all flights that you book through your chosen airline, including economy, but it also includes business and first class flights for all carriers. So this benefit covers a lot for us because membership rewards can go very, very fast when you're booking flights for four people. So getting 35% of the points back it's a really good deal for us. So for my last Amex Business Platinum card, my chosen airline was American Airlines. And I'm gonna pull up the numbers here real quick and do this with you. So I booked five one-way flights uh, in economy on American Airlines through the portal. And I know, not four, we're taking an extra person with us for number five. So the cost of those five flights was $927.75 or 92,775 membership rewards. And those were deducted from the account on July the 27th. So those points did come out all at once. So you gotta make sure that you have enough points initially. This is not a discount coupon. It acts more like a rebate. So you are gonna be deducted the full amount up front, but you will get reimbursed the points in the future. And just to do some math on this, so if I do the 92,775 membership rewards and multiply that by 0.65, I know that I'll really only be paying 60,303 membership rewards at the end of the day, but again, the entire amount comes out up front. So I should receive 32,471 membership rewards back in the very near future because we just booked those flights fairly recently. So I'm gonna give it another six to eight weeks for those to come back in. And just so you can see another example of how the whole process plays out, I've got specific dates here on how long it actually takes to get the reimbursements. So I paid for four flights from Kentucky to Maine on April 24th, and the total amount deducted for those flights through the Amex travel portal was 59,230 membership rewards. So those were taken out initially from my account. However, I did receive 35% of that back, which is 20,762 membership rewards, and that was credited back to my account on May 28th. They say eight to 12 weeks online and in their terms and conditions, but I was able to get mine back in about four weeks. So I think they just put that out there just in case there's any kind of glitch in the system or something like that. But you can see in this case, I was only out those points for a month. It's not that long to wait for a 35% rebate. Just with the points that I'm getting back on those two trips I mentioned, you're talking 50, 55,000 points. That could get us on another trip for a family of four just on the points that I'm getting back in the bonus. To determine the valuation of the redemption on the flights for California, there's a little bit more math needed, but this is really important because you want to see how much value you're getting by getting that 35% bonus. So let's do another quick little math lesson here. So all you have to do is take the cash price, which was $927.75, and divide it by 60303 and that's the amount, again, after the 35% bonus. So that's my net of what I'm paying in points after I get the 35% back. This equals out to 0 0.0153, which means I'm getting 1.53 cents per point. I find that when I use the Amex travel portal and I use the membership rewards along with this 35% bonus, that I typically hover somewhere around 1.5 cents per point, but we accumulate membership rewards so fast, I'm perfectly fine with getting the 1.5 cents per point. I know, I know the annual fee is $595. I totally get that. However, for the first year, I can completely justify the cost of the annual fee because let's say I get that 1.5 cents per point 
and I multiply that times the 150,000 membership rewards, you're looking at $2,250 in value for $595 annual fee. And just as a reminder, my full in-depth review of this card will be down in the description below, but just to hit some highlights real quick on some of the other benefits that I will actually utilize. First of all, the 1.5 times points on any purchases over $5,000, I'll definitely be doing that. The Dell credit of $200, the $200 airline fee credit, which I'll probably end up adding that to Southwest as part of my Southwest travel funds. The $179 clear credit, the access to Centurion lounges, I absolutely love that. And then also global entry and TSA pre-check, there's a credit for that as well. So this card does offer quite a bit. The sign up bonus alone is enough for me to pick up this card, but the other side benefits are also very, very helpful and more than offset the $595 annual fee. So that's why it's going in my wallet as my current men's spin card. I feel like I have a new men's spin card like every three weeks. And you've probably noticed that. You're like, Brandon, don't you unbox a card every two or three weeks? Kind of. Let me know down in the comments, have you received any of these no lifetime language offers from American Express? If so, did you take advantage of them? I don't plan on keeping this card into year two, to be honest with you, unless I get some kind of really nice retention offer. But the bonus on the welcome offer is so good, I had to take them up on their offer for the first year at the very least. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy collecting these sweet membership rewards points. They go a long way with me, and they go even further with that 35% airline bonus. All right, so that's another episode in the books. I really enjoyed this one. You all know how much I love doing unboxing videos. I get excited for them. I get excited when I get that little UPS envelope or big UPS envelope at the front door. It's always exciting to rip these things open, show you what's in the box, and there are more of these to come because I've had more no lifetime language offers from American Express hit my email and my wife's email as well. So the unboxings are gonna keep on coming and I hope you continue watching. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to be awesome, give me a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications for alerts, and when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, click, 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 it's time to check in on everything related to credit cards, points and miles, finance, money, unboxings, and everything in between. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. I'll see you soon.